Hi everyone, Mantian Astro Oracles. Um, good to be with you. Good to uh, to have you here. And uh, I'm coming to you from uh, Merida, uh, Mexico, as I slowly make my way back to uh, Cancun uh, Airport, and and from then um, uh, Denmark, Scandinavia, uh, another place on the planet. Um, where I suppose it will be a little, uh, little colder and uh, less hot and, and clammy than uh, than in uh, <laughs> in the Yucatan, but it is uh, it's a very lovely um, place down here, and um, and I've been relishing uh, the energies of, of Mexico, and at the same time I've i found that as I believe I've said that that it, it's it's also like that there's so much uh, life in the air that it can get a little uh, overwhelming and, and sometimes it's actually um, nicer for me to then like connect back to um, to the good old entities that uh, that I know and love and um, and that I've worked with uh, before and so I'm, I'm bringing back an, an old uh, friend of, of the show um, so we're going to speak uh, to uh, to the Lyrans or the Lyrans and uh, my guide Ismon, um, who I'm looking forward to communicating with again. But uh, the occasion for this video, which I've entitled uh, "Changes to to Channeling," maybe changes in channeling. We'll we'll see. Um, but um, but is uh, yesterday uh, somebody uh, sent me a. A video of um, of Philippa from um, from from uh, connecting with uh, with Hyla Fame, um, who apparently quit uh, channeling and um, and it's interesting because someone else uh, also told me that uh, Brad Johnson um, quit channeling Adronis recently, and um, that was also out of something that he felt uh, led to, and I can I can sort of. Um, sense or discern from 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 when I've I've, I've been told these things that uh, that this was about the time that that I myself was having a lot of qualms about uh, alien channeling uh, some some two months ago and didn't didn't really feel if I was going down the right uh, path. Um, so so to me that's all indicators that there's something um, changing about channeling as a phenomenon. And uh, I, I also wanted to, to sort of give my perspective on, on some of these things because I, I stopped working with the hybrid program. And, and since I work with a lot of entities, it's, it's not something that, that, that I feel like has um, really left, an, uh, left anything missing in the practice. But, uh, but I do feel it, it's interesting that at the same time, um, several people may have felt that a lot of these uh, entities uh, coming to us from the higher but still the physical dimensions uh, that there was something um, askew or tricksterish uh, with their energy that they they just couldn't uh, recon reconcile with their uh, um, with their consciousness with their sense of, of conscientiousness about what what they were doing in in life and uh, and i, I have um, the utmost uh, love and respect for for people who are are guided by their eternal uh, calling so so if that's what what they feel led to do more and um, more power to them and and at the same time of course i is like this practice is near and dear to me and, uh, and 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 like for the same reason that i'm i'm kind of sad that uh, uh, andre from outcast doesn't rap anymore or something like I, i'm i'm sad that that philippa isn't uh, channeling anymore because i i thought uh, she was really good at it um and I think that's uh, it's it's very interesting that we are being um, sort of led to to find our own role in interacting with these entities, and uh, and I can definitely recognize a, a lot of um, the, the criticisms or or concerns she she raised about the the practice. Um, well, partially, the idea that the hybrid program sort of seems in many ways like an infringement upon uh, human free will and, and like a very um, agendaed endeavor by the entities undertaking it. Like they, they have different things that they want to accomplish. And, and, and I have also, like always, thought, uh, and, and this is sort of also my, my personal reason for for channeling so many entities that, that if I were to work with just one collective, 
I would somehow feel like I had become a uh, a, a servant or even more harshly phrased a, a slave to to their agenda so I had sort of become their physical extension um, and 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 it would have been in that case sort of my prerogative to fulfill their purposes in, in this lifetime and I can definitely see why that might uh, like give a, a person some some forms and um, and at the same time I um, I personally feel like uh, we are moving closer to each other, like the vibrations of the higher dimensions and, uh, and where we are, um, where I am individually, but also where we are as a collective, um, is, uh, is sort of approaching each other in vibration. And, uh, and this is also because we are coming far more into, let's say, uh, less unconscious um, determination of our actions and more of a conscious choice and so it's it's also natural to me that uh, uh, that some people at least would feel like oh this isn't resonating for me anymore and then then choose to go follow uh, um, another of their their hearts uh, pass but uh, but I also feel like it's um, it still has a very very vital uh, role to play and and I of course know that I, I'm in good Company. Like if you made it this far down the, the rabbit hole of, of channeling where you are uh, interacting with my small YouTube channel, then of, of, of course you, you're probably very much into this, um, uh, this stuff. And, and therefore I also have kind of a blind faith that, um, that you can discern for yourself what, what you want and what doesn't resonate and, and what's helpful and, and what you just may want to not listen to or or, or, or listen to your heart's calling instead and uh, and 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 I can also sense like why many people may feel that there is a certain um, not necessarily coldness but uh, um, uncaring or cynic vibration to to some of these uh, cynical vibration to to some of these um, entities because they, they they do have their that higher dimensional perspective where it's like, yeah, but you, you can't uh, cook the omelette of, of time without breaking some eggs, uh, eggs in space. And, and so like they, they don't care that much about um, the, the calamities uh, of, of an ordinary uh, human lifetime. But, but what I also try to do, and I think this comes forward in, in the way I channel a lot is that I, I sort of translate our perspective back to them. So, so very often the entities I work with will also um, make a couple of remarks saying that we acknowledge or we understand that like from the human perspective this is very stressful or, 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 or this might not be a very um, fortunate situation from your perspective to find yourself in but, but we are just offering this higher dimensional perspective and I, I think the more that we can sort of communicate back and forwards where we're also pushing them to um, ac acknowledge the human predicament um, the, the better we are probably uh, off because it's it's not about abandoning ourselves for, um, for like some entities on a spaceship like it, it it's it's essentially uh, it's, it's essentially for the expansion of, of human capabilities and I think it's incredibly useful in that and uh, and to me, in many ways, it's also, um, I, I don't know if this is too, almost like too theoretical, but, but it's also um, in many ways a realization of, um, of the dictum, of, of the avant-garde, uh, uh, which was sort of the, the radical uh, fringe of, um, of the artistic movements that arose in, in, in high modernism about exactly about a hundred years ago um, and uh, and and that is uh, that is the idea to create unity between art and life so so for me at least in, in my personal practice I I like I, I try to evaluate the qualities um, that this practice presents in in my life in in whether or not it's it seems to be changing uh, what's going on in it for the better and uh, and I sort of have these two uh, 
criteria of, of success, which is partially that, that, that I want to be challenged and, and stimulated and, and have fun with it. And I want to help people. And, and, and one of them can sort of pull the carriage along for a little while, but, but they, they actually need to be in tandem for it to, um, to work. So it's, it's important for me that, uh, that these things sort of meet each other, that I get the clear sense that, that something is being uh, lifted or helped or uh, reassured or uh, assuaged or, 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 or something uh, positive for other people. And, and that I <clears throat> also find that process engaging so, so I can do it with the, like full engagement and, and sincerity. And, uh, and, and that's sometimes a, a challenging process, but, um, but at least recently I, I feel like I've, I've really come home in, in this practice and, uh, and it's, it, it keeps growing for me. Um, and so many of you have been, been kind and, and left remarks or, or sent me emails or, or s sort of confirmed for me that, that it's actually playing a very positive role in, in your lives. And, and, <clears throat> and that, that means, sin sincerely, that, that it means the world to me. Uh, the, the fact that like what I'm doing with my life is somehow uh, aiding someone to, to feel like uh, they have permission to live their calling and, and, and they get in touch with their guidance from, from within. And, and that's just perhaps the, um, the other caveat which I, I feel is often also underscored in, in the live streams or, or by the different entities uh, coming coming through in those is that that you do have free will and, and so you're always the one in the driver's seat uh, making the, the decisions and, um, and, and, and they will very often try to underscore in personal sessions if, if people are, are sort of writing their decision making capabilities uh, off and handing them over to, to higher dimensional uh, entities. Uh, because that's that's probably uh, that's probably a fundamental uh, conundrum of human life that um, that we really really do not like to make choices uh, because we are also able to apprehend all the things that may go wrong and and, and like the idea of being responsible for doing something. Uh, horrible uh, in our own lives is uh, is horrific, right? So the idea, if 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 some entity could just like <laughs> call the shots, then then that would be very welcoming. And and I don't do this in 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 my private life. Like I'm 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 often very um, confused about what I'm to do and what I'm doing here, and and if I'm on the right path, then. And, and they then, like, I consult with the Arcturians or something, and they go like, yeah, yeah, you just keep on or something. And then, then I, I, uh, I, to be honest, I, I actually curse, curse them a lot. Like, I, I, I really have a lot of uh, beef with them in my internal uh, monologue because I'm, I'm also uh, just reiterating that perspective of, yeah, that's, that's fine, that's easy for you to say, but, but I am sort of the one who has to, to live this life, right? And, and, and that, that, that goes for, for every one of us, that, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine if, um, I don't know, the Syrians or something, they, they want you to, to go build a, a pyramid in, in Spain or whatever, but it's like, yeah, but it's uh, who's handling the logistics here, people? Is that are, are you are you going to, uh, to to land in a spaceship and do that? No, no, I, I, I don't think you are. Like that's that's up to me, right? Uh, and and so the the more that that we can actually take this as perspectives, uh, challenges, uh, it, it, um, expansions, expansions. And, and sort of the opportunity to shift um, the better, I, I feel. And, uh, and I also feel like there's a, there's a huge uh, cadre of people that, that, that I would love to, uh, to, to try to get this uh, idea across to, and, and not necessarily that they, uh, they're into to some medium closing their eyes and, and becoming possessed by a benevolent spirit and then speaking stuff, but but that 
people somehow begin to recognize that this is a, a part of um, of the human game, and it's a it's it's an art form or a, a mode of expression or a, a way of communicating with the divine, uh, which has been around since you know, the days of Sumer, uh, like ever since. Um, ever since whenever and, and and so it's 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 also i think in, in my mind i i'm i'm often moving in these uh, like enormous time frames which is also why i resonate so much with with these entities uh, way of thinking because it's like i i probably consider i don't know ezekiel or muhammad or or dante or a rumi or something as as the greatest uh, channelers uh, ever and uh, course, uh, Dante wrote his own stuff, right? But 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 a lot of people have actually been in the position where um, something was just pouring through them, and and then somebody else took notes, and 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 to me, it's uh, like sometimes I also feel like I I might be a little lazy that I'm not uh, necessarily doing all the editing and and putting that together. But but at the same time, I'm I'm also just very happy to. In this practice, be removed from from all the um, like the second guessings of the mental processes, uh, which automatically start when I, I begin to sit with a verbal in expression in in front of me uh, visually as writing uh, rather than than the spoken word. And so this was just sharing uh, me sharing some some loose perspectives on. Uh, on, on this, I've been thinking about because it uh, it, it, it has stirred something in me too. Um, but I I would love to also get uh, our, our Liren, um friend Eastman's uh, perspective on what it was that happened back in August and what it is that that's happening uh, that's apparently uh, making uh, channeling different and challenging for for a lot of people. Um, so, uh, so let's try to, uh, to hear from her. Yes, blessings, peace and love from the Lyran Collective. I, Star Warrior Eastmon of Vianandi, I come to you to speak of these changes that you have been experiencing or that you seem to discern in the fabric of your time space then emanating and manifesting into different changes and decisions made by different individuals that have been known in your understanding of them as channelers. Well, the reason I put the quotation marks around this is because what you are realizing is of course what you have always known but it, that it has been hard for you to discern and that is that this vibration is always accessible to you but even though it is always accessible to you it has often required a type of shift into otherness to carry it out and so you will find this in many cases in your history, the fact that, well, it's this othering process that allows people to bring forward this perspective. And it is exactly this othering process that has begun to dissolve. That is, you will notice that where you tended before to maybe compartmentalize a lot of this content and say, well, this addresses my spiritual well-being or this is something I can get into outside of work or, or this is sort of a, a hobby I have of, of cultivating these perspectives and being into them. You are sort of noticing how these perspectives are merging into normal human affairs that everything seems quite otherly, that is quite strange, quite foreign, quite unknown to you. And this, of course, brings in the forces of the personality. You sometimes construe this as ego, but we do not mean this in a negative sense. Rather, we use the expression to mean that there's a sort of limiting factor within 
ordinary human consciousness that's necessary for you to sustain yourselves. And these limitations, they have been removed. So notice, well, the quite apparent consequences of the strange societal changes that you have been observing in the past year and a half or so, which have, have resulted in for a lot of you that well, all of a sudden, you found your home and your work life merging. You found your worries about your personal health and your concerns about the direction that society was heading in merging. You found your tendency to question things as something that was all of a sudden warranted and called for and maybe even necessary in your everyday life. And so a lot of these things were compartmentalized for you before. They belonged in a separate sphere, but you could sort of go along with the program for a lot of your day because, well, at least the program was running, it was stable, it was somewhat sustainable, perhaps not ecologically, but at least for the ordinary human being going to work and carrying out certain tasks and receiving financial remuneration for those and that helping helping them well do other things that they liked this was sort of a sustainable model to live in for most people and so this idea of unsustainable sustainability has sort of come up to the surface and it's difficult for many of you to handle that's not to say that any choice within this is necessarily the right choice. We, of course, as your galactic counterparts, as guardians of Earth and as something that, a force that has also been instrumental in engineering the changes in humans to make them human, we, of course, feel that we have a great deal of love for humanity. We wish you the best and we also seek to guard your best interest but we are also aware that we created you with free will and so we really enjoy seeing you take full advantage of that free will to actually make choices that bring you into concordance with your heart because in that concordance you can never go wrong and so you may have experienced then a radical shift in these past months energetically because what has happened as the hybrid program moved closer to human vibration is also that, well, you became more hybridized. And in this process of hybridization, you may have felt that the otherness that was hitherto outside of you all of a sudden moved into you, that there was a type of could call it an alien invasion. You can call it an invasion of different codes of consciousness and modes of perception, or you can call it a divine invasion and envision how light particles are making everything were at a faster pace. That is, things are simply moving and oscillating at a faster speed. And so objects may appear the same, but they may also seem more charged to you. And so everything that your attention engages with becomes more charged. And as you know from understanding this idea, you may also then realize that it, it might have a, well, more of a type of forceful or repellent effect on you. That is, it's, it's also dictating in many ways that you either take this thing as a part of you or you remove it from your life and follow another path. And to us, that is all helpful. As long as you are making the conscious decision of where you want to go, as long as you are sorting what information you want to take in, as long as you are holding your sovereignty out before you as a, a short fact that cannot be infringed upon, well, all is well and good with us from our perspective. And that is what we would like to assure you, that however you go and whatever you do, we do have your backs. We just want to see humanity thrive. 
and we have no specific set of criteria to see you thrive in a specific way. We just want to see your power come into connection with itself and we want to see all that beauty of the spirit, of the human spirit, which we also helped engineer move into and merge with the beauty and the expression of the human body, which we also help to engineer. But they are fully yours to do with as you please. And with that message, I, Ismon of the Anandi, the race you call the Lyrans, star warrior and protector, I bless you and I send you peace, blessings and love in this moment of your time.